ones. I was thinking there was a time on youtube.com where glow up videos were running rampant. Everyone and their uncle made a glow up video and I was talking about this with Dee and we're like where did those videos go and why did they go? Because in our hearts and our minds they are still alive and well. And so I figured since it's about that time where <laughs> <laughs> My outsides need a bit of a refresh. What if I just filmed it and I did one of those old-fashioned transformation glow up videos? What if, it, what if I just did that? Oh my god, there is my neighbor once again. This is going to be a theme. Wow, does he have to stand there like that? That seems unnecessary. <laughs> Okay. So this is the plan of attack. I need a spray tan. I need my nails done. I need to do my eyebrows. I need to touch up my roots and I need an eyelash fill. So it's the works. And then I have to do my makeup and my hair and pick out an outfit. It's a lot. That's not, not a lot. Just wait till my neighbor sees me in my final form. So here's the before, even though I'm cheating because I put on some powder and some chapstick because, um, insecurities. But I did not touch a hair on my head. This is her in all her glory, cowlick and all. Skin texture tour. Oh, broken thumbnail. Now let's get cracking on this after. Happily ever after. First up, I have my spray tan, and right here are all of the ingredients that I need to have a proper stand, like the barrier cream, these footsies, and a lunch lady cap. I just have to remove all of my jewelry because we don't need my jewelry having a tan. Then I get naked and look sexy as hell. Here are my flippers. They are made out of cardboard, not to brag. And my hands are lubed up and ready to go. I smash that on button. Now this part right here is a little something I like to call Arctic Blast. This is a freezing process. It is like ice juice being sprayed all over my body. It hurts. This spray tan goes on clear and then over the next six hours it develops. And you know what? The pain was all worth it in the end. Because I did it. I persevered and I couldn't be more proud. I also couldn't be more sticky, but that's a different story. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh my gosh, pardon the fluffy hair. I'm about to go to my hair appointment in literally two minutes, but I wanted to give you a life update on the spray tan. I went to the old place that I used to go to rather than the new place that I've been going to because the old place has this thermostat right across from the spray tan machine where I can set my phone up and film. And I totally forgot that there's something about this old place that refuses to tan my hands. And now I'm wearing white gloves. I do the lotion barrier cream at both places. So what is it about this old place that just has it out for my hands? I'm not too sure, but it's about to catch these hands. Not really, I'm not actually upset, I just, Thought I should point it out to you <laughs> because it's very distracting, but that's okay. That's what the Ariana Grande hands are for. As for my hair game plan, I think I'm leaning towards going back to my ombre hair look. For a while there, I was committing to full blonde, but with ombre, I love that it's the best of both worlds and how it ties in my brows. And of course, when it grows out, it looks less harsh like i can get away with it a little bit longer when it's ombre but i wonder if my hair will even look all that different sometimes you sit in a hair chair for approximately three hours to come out looking the same but a little bit better and i'll take the little bit better much. Also, I have some extra pops of blonde in the front. Magical things are happening. <laughs> Whoa. That made such a difference. I was not expecting that. I'm feeling pretty snazzy right now. Also, tonight I have a FaceTime date and I beg the question, when does that ever happen? When 
does your best hair day ever align with her crush seeing you? In my experience, never. It's always quite the opposite. And so I am counting my blessings. The stars have aligned for this moment and I'm feeling giddy and sweaty. Every top of the morning to ya. I'm about to go get my lashes done and I need it badly, even though it is not doing it justice on camera. They almost look decent, but that is not the case in real life because I had one bad night a few nights ago where I confused my anxiety for my intuition and then that just led to a total meltdown and my lashes were just falling out one by one after that, but everything is fine. We will rebuild and I'll be ready for liftoff once again. Check this bad boy out, but more importantly, I freaking love these lashes. I feel whole again. I feel like a better person. Eyelashes are good for the soul. And I'm gonna dive into this burrito. Mm -hmm. nails on the wall in the background. Just don't mind those. I am redoing my room at my parents' house and I removed all of the furniture, all of the art, and now my clothes are literally on the floor as I search the internet for new furniture. I still have not found what speaks to me yet. This is gonna be a slow process, but I'm pretty excited about it. And anyway, it is time to work on these snails. This is the before. I'm very upset about this pinky. I have been at a loss because of this broken fingernail. But then I was texting with Dee yesterday and she sent me a picture of her nails and I was like, that is exactly what I want and what I need. What is that? And she said that she just picked up these short round soft tips from Sally's Beauty. And so then I went to Sally's Beauty and I got the short round tips and that's what's going to bring this nail back to life. That's what it's gonna do. My nails are naked. I'm gonna be a matchmaker now and find my pinky nail in here. And that will tell me how long to make my other nails. Like maybe I can get away with just filing them. Oh my gosh, they're almost exactly the same length. I think I'm also gonna glue on a thumbnail cause this broke maybe a month back and it's grown out a decent amount, but not as long as this guy. If this is my dominant hand, does that imply that this is my submissive hand? <laughs> okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna glue on the nails now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. I mean, that just solved all of my problems. Now whenever I break a nail, I don't even have to worry about it. I just washed all of the powder off of my nails and now I get to start painting them. And all of the nail polishes I'm using today are Hollow Taco. Also, spoiler alert, these colors go with my glow up top that I picked out. So that's it. And if you're wondering, this one is called Sea Foam Home and this one is called What Do You Pink? Uh, first coat's done, and I feel like an Easter egg. <laughs> I think I like it. I think I'm content, and plus it'll go so well with the top that I picked out that it's fine. Finally, today's the day that I put on my makeup and my outfit, and then I'm like, voila! The metamorphosis is complete! But first, I still have to pluck my eyebrows. I told myself that I would do this last night and then last night came and I just could not be arsed to do it. And so I left it for today, which is an interesting choice because every time I pluck my eyebrows, I give myself a cold. It's like I'm allergic to plucking my eyebrows. They are connected, the two of them. It's like each pluck gets me that much closer to a sneeze. Shall I get up close and personal for the before? There they are, those tree trunks. I have a confession. Yesterday, I couldn't help but notice that the upper half of my body was 
pale. It's like the spray tan just evaporated on my chest and I don't have these problems with the old place that I go to and so I whipped out a scrubber and I scrubbed my whole body and went to the old place and I got my second spray tan of the week. And the best part, look at my hand. I'm no longer wearing white gloves. Everything is even. So even though it was absolutely ridiculous to get two spray tans this week, I think it was the right choice. This one is an even coat. And that's all we really ask when we get a spray tan is to not look blotchy and splotchy. Does anybody else rest their plucked eyebrow hairs on their face as they pluck their eyebrows? Or are you normal and you have a tissue to put your hairs on? I'm just creating a whole new eyebrow up there. I'm very pleased to once again have brows on the thicker side. Went through a phase <laughs> where it all started because my mom was like, your brows are a little a little too thick. And I said, I hear you loud and clear. And then I overplucked them. And she was like, I just meant a, a tad too thick. Now they're too thin. And that started the whole growing out process. And finally, finally, they are back. It's so funny. I'm noticing that I'm Growing out my brows thick again, doing ombre hair again, just recycling the looks that I've already had over the years. The feminine urge to update your look, just to realize that no, the, the look that you had was probably definitely maybe your best look. It's never as fun doing the other side. It always is a little bit more spicy. I'm impressed that we're at a zero sneeze count so far. Just crying, emotional. It actually flew by. Okay, I'm going to wipe off these hairs and then I'm gonna do a little trimming. And I'm gonna blow my nose. Wax on. <laughs> Wax on. Ooh. Yum. The perks of being a furry. <laughs> a furry girl. I should probably make that clear. I got this cute pink trimmer. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Yay! Okay, now I can actually get started on my makeup. Starting with a dollop of moisturizer. And then to even out my skin tone, I'm going in with this tinted sunscreen BB cream. But you can't say BB cream, you have to say BB cream, because it's a BB. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then a little foundation concealer that is on the lighter side. This is my uh, skin color when I don't have a spray tan. I like to take this and focus it on this area that gets red right underneath my nostrils and then just in this general area, the center of my face. I think the spray tan grabbed a little bit in this area, so just lighten it up a little bit. That's it for creams, and then I move on to powder, starting with a translucent powder. I like to go in with this little brush and stamp it on underneath my eyes to set the creams that I just put in place so that they don't go anywhere. You wouldn't want them to escape. I am on the edge of glory right now. I really need some more of this. I went to Sephora and they were all out. It's kind of going where I think I'll crease. Like when I smile and my eyelids and right here when I furrow my brow. zone out for a couple seconds. Okay, then I get a thicker brush and go in with some neutral powder and I set the bigger surface areas of my face. And one of those things that will never change is my love of blush. And then, even though this is ultimately unnecessary, it just makes me feel better to then add a little bit more blush. Okay, there. It just scratches an itch within. And if you have been watching my videos for a long time, you will see that I have not switched up my blushes. 
not super adventurous when it comes to my makeup. As soon as I find the product, I just keep getting that product. I think this little contour like came as a gift when I ordered other stuff. So I just use this. I've never made it a point to find my perfect contour color and I would like to do that eventually. And then that brush that I started out with, this guy, I then do, what is that called? There's a good word for it, reverse contouring. I take a light color and I shape my nose that way. That'll do, donkey, that'll do. Now I'm just going to slightly fill in my brows up at the top. Sometimes I skip it entirely, but on days like today, I like to feel like I did something. And I'm gonna lock them into place with some clear brow gel. Oh, I just remembered that highlight exists. Champagne pop. I cannot believe that Becca went out of business. What the freaking heck? Oh wait, that sounds kind of magical. For mascara, I love wands like this. Um, I like the plasticky kind of wands as opposed to the brushy, bristly type of wands. Do you know what I'm saying? I love when mascara doesn't flake, of course. This one, I feel like it's, it's good, but because it has some flakies sometimes, that's why I feel like I still haven't found my perfect mascara. This is meant for brows, but I like it as a little line for above my eyelashes. <laughs> Keep it old school with one of these bad boys. Have some black or brown powder on it, and I just swipe it out. Rather than getting the eyeliner out and spending a half hour trying to match each side, now I just tickle the outside of my eyeballs for an effect that I like maybe even more because it adds a smoky bedroom kitten look. Now I just need my trusty lip liner. This is the lip liner that I grew up with my mom using and so this is all I've ever used. It's called Sand by Prestige. I have this Ilia tinted lip balm called Lullaby. <gasps> Bella's Lullaby. I think this is the move for today. And to finish us off, some watermelon sugar. Let me move you to some decent lighting so you can actually see what's going on. And I can see what's going on. Hopefully it's good. Okay. Excellent, that's excellent. Let me just set you up, get you all situated. I'm thinking, this top from For Love and Lemons. See what I mean about the nails? It all makes sense now. These jeans from Urban Outfitters and these pink Converse that I actually got for another video. <laughs> but they just look so cute with this outfit I couldn't help myself. So I'm gonna put all this on as well as some jewelry and then it will be time for the grand reveal. the back. Don't look at that. Don't perceive my back, but definitely perceive every other inch of me because it's done. The transformation is complete. Black bra was an interesting choice. You can see the top goes with the nails and the shoes goes with the top that goes with the nails. I did some bubble braids in my hair, picked out these gold accessories. My necklace and my earrings are from my favorite jewelry store that I cannot pronounce, Gorjana, Goriana. And now all that's left to do at a time like this is grab my Minxie, who is currently picking out an outfit in the garage, and then we are going to go have a photo shoot for Instagram. Miss D? Miss L? Oh my 
gosh, I love your outfit. I love your outfit, I love your hair, I love the look. I love every single inch of you. I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> it's so mutual. I love how we have two very different vibes going on. I know. So we can cover all the vibes together. Exactly. <laughs> and here is all the love just 